Hey, good good afternoon. Um, almost evening. It's a little late. Um, I was um, up almost all night meditating, uh, thinking about the Word of God, and um, was looking into um, uh, the Els, the names of God, Eli, Eli um, Elohim. Uh, I was looking into Elohim, um, El uh, El Shaddai. Uh, it's interesting that um, that um, God said that He was going to put His name in Jerusalem. He put it. He, he put His name in Jerusalem literally. And uh, for the Jewish, um, the name El Shaddai it's actually Shin. So there's a Shin letter. It looks like a W. And um, the um, it's believed that that letter Shin is like a sign. Uh, they they used to do the. Uh, ironic priesthood um, when they bless people uh, they they would go um, and bless the people with that uh, chin the chin sign uh, I'm actually pretty good with this hand doing the chin sign and that's the name of El Shaddai the name of El Shaddai and uh, and then um, what got my attention is that in the in the land of the Canaanites uh, there were they had their gods and they had similar names so I was looking into it yesterday trying to find out what what was the difference between the canine gods and the God of the of the Bible especially since God said that um he was gonna put his name in Jerusalem meaning El Shaddai um, the God Almighty God of the mountain and um, and so I was looking into that I was I was fascinating uh, and all of a sudden, I, I ran into the um, the um, the path of Jesus' um, uh, uh, lineage. Um, there was a prophecy in Jeremiah, and um, and uh, this prophecy in Jeremiah is basically uh, um, it's a curse. He curses the the king, one, the the king of Judah. And I think it was Joachim or something like that. That was his name. And he curses him, and then he says that uh, pretty much from then from him on, uh, there was gonna be all oh, his descendants were gonna be cursed. And this is a big problem because Jesus is coming from that lineage. Uh, so he's coming. He was being promised um, that he would sit in in the throne of of, of David. Uh, so if the line the natural line is cursed from that because of God being angry with that king being angry and that was a big deal so I ran into that um, um, had a interesting explanation by John John uh, Jonathan K. K. Kane um, he does a good explanation on on that um, this is why if you when you read the lineage of Matthew um, the lineage of lineage of Matthew is pretty much um, based on um, on a curse on a curse um, curse lineage of the, the David's throne. So, so I was picking on that, and I was I was doing some reading, and then I um, I was um, I was uh, listening to to. To how jo I was surprised that actually Joseph, uh, instead of being a poor man or having a normal trade, he was actually, he should have been a king of Israel, a king of Judah, uh, because he was from the throne of David. Um, he was from that royal line. Um, and he wasn't, and he wasn't. Uh, and uh, until this day, uh, it almost seems like that curse is still on so so obviously seeing that um, seeing all the um, the names of God with the starting with the L and the relationship with the canines um, it just gets my attention and it, and it makes me it makes me think about the curse the curse of not not a man curse but a curse of God on the lives of even his own people uh, when he gets angry when he gets mad um, 
the pro one of the things with the curse is uh, whatever you do will not prosper. That's a big thing. Um, whatever you're doing is it's not prospering, and um, and I think we can all relate to some. We can all relate to the curse in one way or another. So, in a say, in a sense, the Savior is nothing more than a redeemer, somebody who saves you from the curse, who redeems you from the curse. So, so you have, you're into the curse, and your life is not going to prosper. It's not going to go anywhere. So now you need a savior. You need a redeemer. And that's what happens with Jesus. Um, so his line gets cursed. Uh, now uh, Luke gives another genealogy. And Luke tells that that um, the genealogy from Mary's side. So, and it goes all the way to Adam. Which makes sense to what God promised the serpent. Said, hey, he, um, with, when he promised the woman, your seed will crush the serpent's head. And the serpent will uh, will." Would, um, will grab his heel um, so that makes sense that even though the, the line of David uh, of kings got interrupted got cursed because of that last uh, Ju um, uh, Ju Judean, Judean king um, that was exiled to Babylon he was uh, I, think, I believe he took his eyes out it was horrible it was it was a time of, of chaos Jeremiah was prophesizing, prophesizing this he, that there was this time was coming, that this time was coming. Well, now uh, in our world today, we don't. It doesn't look pretty good. It doesn't look pretty good. Uh, we have so much craziness going on in the in, around the world, and um, we have a a few pending dooms kind of like hanging, hanging that could anything could go crazy any minute so i would i would uh i would say that we have to we have to um we have to um uh, um take take notice of the curse of god of the curse of god so there's a um there's a word um in in hebrew uh which actually uh, talks about curse. Uh, I think it's a if you do the strongs, you will find it. Um, I'm, I'm gonna put it posted on the video um, with the notes. Uh, it's a little late today, uh, sort of um, um, off guards with the um, with the word of the day. So this today's word is a little bit unusual. Um, we're trying to 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 bless you through this video uh, and um, bless you in the only way possible and that is uh, pointing you to Jesus it, it's it's a serious thing it's a serious thing um, one of the things that happens to Jesus when he's getting crucified and this is the main point of this video today just to point that out since we talk about curses of, of the Jeremiah gave because God was angry with the people see the thing is it's 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 awesome when God is happy, when God is pleased, when God is in a good mood. But it's not awesome when God is angry, when God is not pleased, um, because then you 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 get on the curse side. Um, remember that true fig tree that Jesus cursed. Um, he wanted a fruit from that tree, and they didn't find it. It was it was. Uh, a fake, a fake uh, um, entourage that it had tree, but it, it had fruit, but it didn't have it. So Jesus cursed it, and uh, so it's not pleasant to be on the wrong side of God, on the on, when God is not pleasing. So God, knowing that, He gave us a provision for the times when He is not happy, when th when things are not gonna go right, when things are gonna go wrong. He gave us a provision, and that was Jesus. That was Jesus. That's why Jesus, when he was born miraculously because of his line being cursed, um, he also, uh, his Mary's side, she also comes from the line of David. And you can see the, the genealogy on Luke. And uh, so there she, he puts his seed, 
she wasn't cursed. So now the Messiah can have claim to the throne of 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 um, of, of David um, through both sides. So now he has access through uh, to the throne. So now Jesus can rule can rule on forever. Um, so now he was born, but that, but but when he was born, he he his main purpose is to put an end to this curse. There's also um, another word related to curse, which is oath, oath, uh, oath. Um, when you take when you make a promise, that's that's you you are calling for a curse actually. Uh, so that's related. To, it's almost related to law um, anything that you don't keep um, you will be cursed you will be cursed so this is why God provided a, uh, a reversal of all that curses uh, I don't know how many curses are they but um, I don't think it's just one curse um, there's probably many curses um, uh, anything that is not prospering Anything that is not going well, that's a curse. That's a curse. So now God provided the curse, and this is this is the uh, awesome thing. The awesome thing. Um, there's this word uh, that um, you're gonna see in the on the on the um, description um, that has to do with the pierce, with pierce. So so whenever you hear about Jesus' hands being pierced, and He still keeps that pierce in His hands um, after He was resurrected those peers in his hands and in his feet are still seen people that see jesus uh report that they still see the the the, the peers uh, and those peers are important because they have to do with curse there's something um that he was cursed for us so in a sense uh we're not gonna take curses of god on upon ourselves, we are going to claim uh, our deliverer, our redeemer. We're going to uh, believe in our redeemer, which is Jesus. He redeemed us from the curse. He redeemed us from the curse. And, and when his hands were pierced, he was pierced for our iniquities. Um, uh, he was pierced for for our our, trans our rebellions. So he that piercing has to do with the curse so that's what jesus saves saves us from and um so does god want you to be cursed well he's he, you can a curse can come upon you but you don't have to keep it you don't have to take it because jesus made himself a curse for us he paid the price he became a curse so you need to take refuge pronto pronto under the flesh of Jesus, under the flesh of Jesus, under his sacrifice, under his blood, under his spirit, because that's the only thing that will redeem you from the curse. So it's nothing elaborated, but it's something, the thought of the day, the word of the God for the day. So if you're going under the process of a curse, hey, Come to Jesus. Come, and let His hands. His hands were pierced. His feet were pierced for us. He made. He was made a curse to redeem us from the curse. You don't have to be, live the curse. So that's that's the message for today. It's very short, unusual format, but that's that's the message. Um, he became a curse for us. Um, that's that's it for today. Have a very blessed day. Uh, and if the curse is coming at your door, redeem, you're being redeemed by Jesus. Believe in the redemption of Jesus. Believe in his sacrifice. That's the only way you can get from the curse. Uh, have a blessed day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.